Hey Virgo, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading. We're going to take a look and see what is happening for you guys in love. It's general. Take it resonates. Leave the rest. If you're interested in a personal love reading, the link is in the description box. You can also head over to my Etsy shop. Um, I have my email tarot readings there. So if you want a quick read, one or two questions, it's a great affordable option. Um, quick turnaround, only about three days, okay? All right, Virgo, let's jump right in and see what's happening for you guys. Um, let's see. Uh, I am not doing extended bonus readings right now, but I do have my courses up on Vimeo. My business course, for those of you guys who are serious about starting your online YouTube tarot business, I share with you my strategies, my secrets on how I made that possible, how I made it happen, and um, my Teach Me Tarot course, okay? Those of you guys who want to learn tarot, and it's based off of the traditional right away, all right? Those are on Vimeo. All right, let's see. Let's jump right in. Any messages for Virgo? Any messages for Virgo? Any messages for Virgo? The wheel came out in reverse, the five of cups with the knight of cups in reverse. Virgo, there's a situation here where I feel something has not been turning the way that you would like it to, right? I'm getting there's been a turn of events in a connection, in a relationship, and it's, it's really disappointing you. There's someone here that I really feel uh, you have a lot of emotions for, but it's telling me that they haven't been offering their love to you in the way that you need them to. I feel like this is a relationship that you have a lot of regrets about or there's something here this person has regrets about you, okay, regarding this connection. Maybe that's something that they did, they said that they wish they hadn't. Um, there's some sadness here. There's some sadness about a past situation that did not go as planned, okay? It was not turning in the right way, okay? I mean, honestly, the, the real universe is where things are happening and you're like, well, what is going on here? I didn't see this coming, and so this is someone here who could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay, who feels like, I, I don't, why did this happen? They're questioning things. They may be questioning themselves, okay, on how they treated you. Let's see. The, give me the past energy, Virgo. Virgo in a person. The Chariot in reverse, the Ace of Cups in reverse, and the Five of Swords. In the past, um, it does look like something abruptly stopped moving. Either someone stopped putting in effort, okay? I'm getting there was, an, there was some kind of um, situation here where there was a conflict of some sort. Maybe you guys were fighting. There could have been some um, rivalry here, okay? Could have been an argument with the Five of Swords. Someone felt really defeated, okay? Someone felt really defeated. I do see it, it resulted in an ending or um, an opportunity never came in for you guys, okay? This is someone here that you thought you'd move forward in a relationship with, and I'm seeing it never came. Okay, because it never presented itself because something stopped moving. Something here wasn't victorious here. But this could definitely be a cancer. Let's see what's on your mind, Virgo, regarding this person. The moon, okay. So Virgo, there are a lot of unknowns here. A lot of you guys, you may feel you're not seeing something. There's something that's being hidden from you. The moon talks about not just fears and uh, having doubts. and it's, it's also about illusions. And I, I do feel there's something here you guys are not seeing regarding a situation. You could be dealing with a very secretive person. Someone who is not very um, upfront about their intentions for you. We have the four wands and the ten of swords. Some of you guys, I'm getting that you're not seeing and understanding why something here came to an end the way it did. This is someone you saw yourself as moving forward with, getting married. You saw this person as your, your other half, that 11-11. That you felt that things were going well. Things were uh, in balance. You were in harmony with each other. You had a very peaceful relationship. And then we had the Ten of Swords. Something out of nowhere, it resulted in an ending. And it was very devastating for you to go through. Virgo, I see a lot of you guys are trying to pick up yourself from this Ten of Swords because you felt like it was a betrayal. You felt like this person betrayed you. You didn't see it coming. It happened abruptly and it left you with Ten of Swords in your back. Okay. And again, a lot of you guys, you're not understanding why. You're not seeing why. There's something here that has been hidden from you, Virgo, regarding a situation not working out. Let's see what's in the foundation with you and your person. 
the five of pentacles, the death in reverse, the eight of wands in reverse, and the king of pentacles in reverse. I do feel like whoever this is, they may be feeling in a place of lack without you because something did end, right? The death in verse is some kind of ending. And I do feel this is someone on their mind. They are thinking about a resurrection with you. This is someone who doesn't really want to close the chapter here. They do feel left out in the cold by you, Virgo. This is someone that you may not be talking to anymore. They're in this place of lack or feeling like they're missing something from their life, okay? We do have someone here who wants another chance. Uh, they may not be able to communicate at this time. There is a lack of movement. There's a lack of change with regard to a situation. And I feel a lot of you guys, it's because they couldn't give you the commitment that you needed. They couldn't be that uh, stable person for you or they lack stability in their own life, okay? The King of Pentacles in verse, this is someone here who feels, I just can't, okay? I'm not able to. I'm not where I am right now. It could be finances holding them back, okay? But this is someone here who there, there hasn't been much movement with, okay? For some reason, there hasn't been much communication. Things have been a little bit stuck. Let's get the outcome. Virgo and their person. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Five of Wands in verse. Virgo, coming into the outcome, there is an opportunity that's being presented to you, okay? A lot of you guys, the opportunity is being presented um, after you get out of some conflict with someone, there's some kind of uh, disruption or a challenge here that you guys uh, are going through. And it may be with this person, it may be in, by yourself, it could be internal challenges. Um, but I do see, you know, someone in their head about this maybe about this opportunity that's being presented. Some of you guys, you just don't see it coming, okay? But there isn't a new opportunity. It looks very stable. It looks very secure. It could be a new opportunity with this person. It could be a commitment. It could be a relationship. It could just be moving things to a, a more solid, stable ground, okay? Let's get some clarity. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's find out why the wheel is in reverse. Someone felt like... Things are not working out. Nothing is going my way. You may feel like with regard to this connection, it's just like nothing is moving forward, right? If this is your reason, uh, reading, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Why is the wheel in reverse? What's going on with the wheel in reverse? Five of cups, nine of cups in reverse. Page of pentacles in reverse, the tower, and the moon in reverse. In the current energy, there is something here that's being revealed. Whatever is being revealed, it could have been a secret, could have been uh, someone holding back. It caused a tower moment. It caused a tower between you and this person. Destruction, chaos, turmoil, you guys stop talking with each other. I do feel whoever this is, they stop reaching out to you. Page of Pentacles in verse, they stop putting effort, they stop communicating. And whatever this tower is, it resulted in the wheel and not moving in the right direction. All of a sudden, there was a change of a turn of events, right? And I'm getting like it wasn't moving in the right direction, right? It was, it was like all of a sudden, everything is going wrong in this connection. So I do feel... Um, whoever this person is, they do have some regrets. They may feel like they're responsible for keeping something from you. They haven't been honest and upfront with the moon. And they may feel responsible for this tower moment that has caused um, destruction in this connection, okay? And caused the wheel to not move in the right direction. So this is someone here that I do feel you're holding back from. Um, let me get the Knight of Cups here. Give me more information about the Knight of Cups and the Five of Cups. The five of swords and the hangman. So I do feel, I'm in mean, ten of swords and the hangman. So this is like hitting rock bottom, right? You're at your all-time low. This person's at their, their all-time low. You guys are have hit this place of, you know, you feel devastated by what happened. The hangman, things are kind of like stuck, stalled. But this is also giving you an opportunity, Virgo, to do some thinking, assessing about a situation. Some of you guys... um. I do feel you still have love for this person, but you're just not sure if you can love them right now. Someone is holding back their cup. Someone is definitely holding back their cup. And whatever the moon is, uh, if it was a secret, whatever came to light, you guys have time to really assess things. You need to think about this, okay? Give me the recent past. Um, five of Swords, a Chariot in Reverse, and an Ace of Cups in Reverse. Some kind of ending or something just didn't move forward. Uh, the Queen of Wands. 
the Two of Cups and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Some of you guys, there was some communication that was held back from you regarding another person. Leo, Sag, Aries, regarding a third party. Perhaps Queen of Wands could be a third party of some sort. I feel a lot of you guys, you had the Two of Cups with this person. In the past, you really had this very strong connection, deep, strong soul, soul connection. This is someone who you really cared about. But there was a lot of conflict. The Five of Swords, right? There was a lot of challenges, a lot of conflict, maybe arguing regarding this Queen of Wands. Some of you guys, I'm, I'm getting that they let this Queen of Wands, um, you know, meddle in the connection, okay? And it may have caused an ending of some sort. It may have caused an opportunity to fall through. Chariot in Reverse. Give me another card here for the Chariot in Reverse. Why does something stop moving? Knight of Swords, King of, King of Wands. Some of you guys, you wanted the truth regarding this person's actions or whereabouts. I'm getting this King of Wands. This is someone who may have pursued someone because of, you know, passion or just um, someone I'm getting got distracted here, okay? The Knight of Swords, I do feel some of you guys, Virgo, you want truth. You want clarity regarding a situation, but you also want to know what are they willing to do to overcome this, right? The Five of Swords, this, let's not fight anymore. What are you willing to do? What actions are you willing to take to overcome this conflict? Okay. Because on you in the past, the Ace of Cups is still here. So I do feel you both still want this, but at the time, I'm just getting things were in shambles and someone needs to step up to the plate and take action with that King of Wands energy. Give me clarity on the Four of Wands with the Ten of Swords. Okay, Six of Swords came out with the Wheel and the Magician, okay, Gemini Energy. Um, Virgo, it's obvious, on your mind, you really want to go into calmer waters. You want to make peace with the past situation here. You don't want to con uh, be in conflict with this person. I see you guys trying to turn the situation around, wanting to manifest this, wanting a new opportunity, a new beginning. Four Wands, this is someone here you want to make peace with. Let's come back together. Let's make this happen. Okay, let's come back in harmony with each other and the wheel. I want good fortune in this connection. You want forward movement. You want things to work out. Um, so Ten of Swords in verse, this is like overcoming some kind of really difficult ending. But um, the moon is here. So let's let's see what the moon is all about. Why is the moon still here? King of Cups in verse, the sun in reverse. Some of you guys, you're still unclear. If this person can love you the way you need them to love you. Some of you guys, um, the sun inverse is, is really speaking about there's something here that you're not seeing. Okay? It could be regarding a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, but the moon here with the King of Cups, yeah, in reverse. This is someone here that you may feel like they manipulated you in some way. Okay? You may want the truth regarding a situation. You may still feel left in the dark. There is still some information I think you guys need to know in order to trust this person, in order to give them your heart, right? Again, um, so the King of Cups and Verses, some of you guys are questioning if this person could love you or if you could love them, right? So there's still a lot of unknowns. Let's see what this person is um, all about. The Five of Pentacles, they are feeling left out in a cold by you. The Temperance and the Six of Wands. This is someone who's waiting. They're patiently waiting for an opportunity for something to come back together. I'm sorry, the four wands, okay? Come back together. Harmony, union, could be a family situation. This is someone who does want to uh, make peace with you as well. Four wands is like, you know, really about being united. So this is someone who does feel left out in the um, cold by you right now, but they're being patient, waiting for an opportunity for you guys to have another reunion in order for you guys to come back together, okay? So I don't think they want to be... Um, out in the cold by you. They want to come back together, but they're waiting for something to happen. Give me the death in verse and the eight of wands. This is someone who's not really communicating just yet, but they do want a new beginning. Nine of pentacles, the five of wands, and the seven of pentacles in verse. There's, there's someone here who's doing a lot of reflecting on, um, you know, what they brought to this connection. I do feel the Nine of Pentacles, this is someone here who's trying to work on themselves, work on their finances, work on their, you know, um, themselves. It could be just like spiritually, it could be financial based, getting their life together. Because I do feel this is someone here who wants to come back, but they also know they have to come back um, 
as a changed person, okay? The Seven of Pentacles of Earth, I don't think they were investing as much as they could in you in the connection, Virgo. Maybe they didn't have much to offer. And it brought a lot of conflict. Some of you guys, in the Five of Wands is just conflict. I'm getting more so your person was in conflict with themselves about being able to provide for you. King of Pentacles of Earth, some of you guys, they acted out because they were not in a position where they felt... Maybe you would respect them or they felt they had enough. They felt they were good enough for you. Because I think, Virgo, a lot of you guys, you're coming from a place of stability. You, you, you're you coming across as someone who's grounded. You have a lot. You are um, fortunate, okay? You're blessed. A lot of you guys, you have... Um, financial security or you know i'm getting like you're dealing with someone who was not in that position and so they messed up they made mistakes okay um and so we have someone who's not able to communicate and come toward you yet because they're working on getting themselves together nine of pentacles in order to have a new beginning with you the death inverse in order for something to come back and be resurrected so let's see um we have the king of pentacles in reverse that's how they see moving forward yeah, Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers. A lot of you guys, this is what they're doing. They're working on rebuilding themselves, okay? For them to be this equal counterpart for you. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. This is your divine partner, right? A lot of you guys, there's something about finances, growing, becoming more stable, mentally, emotionally, financially, whatever it may be. Because someone does want you to reconsider them um, for a connection, okay? Or for a reunion. The Lovers is here, but right now, I do feel this is someone who may feel they're in this place of lack. And so they need to wait before they make this decision, right? Be patient. I'm not where I am right now. This is someone who feels I'm not where I am right now, okay? Uh, this could be someone who's in like an poverty type mindset. I don't feel good enough. I don't have enough, okay? Let's see what the outcome looks like. I do feel like this is someone who's getting themselves together. We do have the Ace of Pentacles, coming in to some kind of opportunity the five of swords the ace of pentacles in reverse and the queen of swords so some of you guys you have a gemini libra aquarius coming in um there may be some communication from this person but honestly this is someone who's coming in to reconsider um an opportunity with you the ace of pentacles is coming out i do feel some of you guys you have a choice if this is something you want there's still some conflict regarding this person the situation five of wands five of swords okay but i do feel this is someone here who's been stuck they put it in your head about you this is someone who wants to come back um and be that person you need them to be, but I do feel it's not going to be that easy for this person, okay? Because there's a lot of forces against them. There's a lot of conflict still around this connection, okay? So I do feel this is someone who will eventually come towards you with an opportunity, um, Ace of Pentacles, okay? It, it seems very stable. It seems very promising, but I think that this is something long awaited um, by you guys, Virgo, and it's almost like now that it's here, it's like, mm, do I really want it, okay? You have to consider uh, what you've gone through with this person, all right? So, Virgo, that is what I have for you guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'm sending you my love, my blessings. You guys all take care. Bye.